What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. We're gonna be talking about Brazo today. Now, I haven't talked about what Brazo did. I must have been on one of my hiatuses, which I'm so known for uh, during the situation. From what I understand, though, this Brazo guy is a commentary YouTuber. Bottom of the barrel stuff. Just one look at his channel, and you can tell he's not exactly a YouTuber with integrity. So, what do you get when you cross a YouTuber with no integrity shame or humiliation in the death of a beloved Minecraft YouTuber. You get, well, this. After the tragic passing of Technoblade, God rest his soul, Brazo immediately began milking it. He made several videos on Technoblade's death, which is just disgusting. Like, I thought it was bad when Jaden clickbaited the guy's cancer, but this guy straight up exploits his death. Vomit inducing. Well, the commentary community began calling him out for it. This is a legitimately tragic thing. To make all these videos is just awful. After that, Brazo said he'd make it right by donating $3,000, which he recorded and eventually Eventually, that was found to be faked. Yeah, we're gonna donate three thousand dollars. Let's click. I'm not a robot. Yeah, let's just let's just get it. Let's just get it over with. Three thousand dollars. Let's click. I'm not a robot. Yeah, let's just let's just get it. Let's just get it over with. Inspect elementing a $3,000 donation. So you make a video where you allege that you spent 3,000, you donated $3,000, right, to some GoFundMe for Technoblade, but then you got caught shoddily faking it because you're retarded and you're 15. So again, commentary did its thing and tore the guy to shreds. He began throwing himself a pity party afterwards, you know? Even videos like this, YouTube needs to terminate this disgusting channel, you know? That type of stuff, people might think that I'm used to, but in reality, that gives me the biggest pressure in the world. Well, well, people are mad at me because I faked a donation to get out of an internet drama. Why are people so cruel? Well, he said he'd donate the money for real at a later time on stream so everyone could see for themselves. Just wanted to remind everyone, as soon as I get money, I'm making a live stream. A live stream where I donate the money to the charity and on the charity you will be able to see like the leaderboard or whatever so everyone could see the donation for themselves in the video he said he'd do it in just a couple of weeks but it was actually a couple of months before anyone ever heard from brazo he's finally uploaded a video on the matter where is my three thousand dollar technoblade donation as you can guess it's just not a good video not like just morally speaking but it's just a bad video production wise it's very uh poorly structured I'd say. Normally when I make a video like this, you know, responding to someone, I usually play the video from start to end, responding what needs to be responding to and trimming certain bits for time's sake. You know the deal. But this video, it's it's all over the place. And I'd say at the very least, half the video is completely worthless. It says nothing at all. So rather than respond to this video in the traditional way, I have an outline of some notable argumentations made during the video on a doc. I'll play some clips for context and then I'll respond to it. First thing I want to mention is the dictionary definition. He opens up the video by reading a dictionary definition. Negativity. Negativity is a tendency to be downbeat, disagreeable, and skeptical. It's a pessimistic attitude that always expects the worst. Negative outcomes are bad outcomes, like losing a game, getting a disease, suffering an injury, and etc. He does this a lot during the video. Positivity. The practice of being or tendency to be positive or optimistic in attitude. Death. The irreversible cessation of all vital functions is pressure. Try to make someone to do something by forcing, threatening, or pursuing them in a determined way. I'm not sure why he does it. Maybe he thought it would make him look smarter, professional, sympathetic. I don't know. It's out of place. That's what it is. It takes a video that was already bad and makes it downright laughable. Now, as far as actual points go, I have to bring this up because he mentions this constantly, like ad nauseum during the video. A central point to the video is that the reason Brazo got so much backlash for making all those videos on Technoblade is simply because everyone is so negative. You know, most people would go on this video type, STOP MILKING TECHNOBLADE'S DEATH BLAH 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 and that's it, they're just negative people. Ba like most of you are. Yeah, we're being too negative towards someone who exploited someone's death for views for their own gain. How could we be so cruel, you guys? No, 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 see, we need to focus on the positives. He actually says this, we have to focus on the positives of the situation. Negativity. That's all people look at. That is literally what people look at. And that is the only thing people look at. But what if I told you that everything that I did was super positive? It was all meant to be 
positive. What are the positives exactly? We'll get into those shortly, but I want to stress how often he says this right. I compiled some clips of it. I receive comments on the daily basis about this whole thing, and it's just negative people. But if you look at the situation positively, there's, there's a lot of positive things about what I did. If people look at the positive, they were thankful for me. People who look at everything with a negative mindset will say, oh my god, six, nine, whatever videos on Technoblade, you're milking his death. Oh my god, you were horrible person can you shut up and just look at the positive you got paid for making and milking someone's death how horrible of a person are you and again this brings us back to chapter one it's all about negativity jealousy and a lot of other things and that's just scratching the surface there is way more from where that came from it's like dude i get it why do you keep bringing it up every 20 seconds i don't know maybe he thinks that if he can tell a lie enough people will eventually start to believe it there are points where he says the video was made out of his heart like all the videos he made were genuine and out of his heart when i made the first video about technoblade which is called Technoblade, thank you for everything, or like, thank you for everything, Technoblade, whatever it was, I could barely make that video. I could barely make it. If you if you look at the video, I have parts where I literally start crying and I just cut them out. So like I don't look like a fucking dumbass, you know? And I'm just thinking, if that were true, why come you're monetizing them? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think you can say I was in a deep state of mourning at the same time milking the situation to kingdom come. So there's this part to the video where he basically says he couldn't have been actively trying to milk Technoblade because each one of his videos had a specific purpose to them. Now, after that first initial video, as a lot of you know i make about seven or eight more videos strictly talking about technoblade and if you just look at those videos i can give you a reason for every single video that i made but to me i'm just kind of thinking will why not put everything you want to say about technoblade into one video that way you can be more clear and concise about the matter the only reason you have to make all these separate videos one at a time is if you wanted more clicks on your videos you wanted more videos to which people would give you views and money if you truly had no intention of milking anything, you would have just made the one video. So he brings up, uh, people say that he's exploiting the situation, which makes sense, and he basically just hand waves it away. And now you probably see, oh my god, you made four videos on someone's death. You are milking them. You are this horrible person. But this brings us back to the first chapter of this video, negativity. That's all people look at. He offers what can only be considered a red herring. Oh, just look at the positives. Look at all these comments in my videos where people are happy. You know why they're happy? Because they have no idea who you are. They have no idea that you're using a dead man to get views. They just see this one video and think, oh, that's sweet, and then move on. Guarantee if they saw the other videos you made, they'd be all like, wow, dude, you, uh, you suck. He also complains about how people compare him to clip channels. Basically, when the news of Technoblade's death came to light, a bunch of people began uploading streamer and youtuber reactions to youtube to get a quick buck and brazo takes offense that people would compare him to such clip channels but if you see something like this where he puts basically people's reactions of the whole situation just basically re-uploading them without his content and lying in some of them which i called out he lied about a lot of things that is disingenuous and that is something that should not really be accepted at all you know and a lot of people were comparing this person to me which for me is disgusting why are you comparing me to someone who uploads people's reactions and lies about the whole situation that's the worst thing and i'm thinking will you're one and the same both of you are milking a tragic event for your own gain so i don't know i don't think you get to be angry Sorry, Brazzo. There's this one segment in the video where he talks about getting paid for the video, and during it, he says this. Now, it is very true. I got paid for making these good videos. I gained about $3,000 from making these good videos those these genuine videos that made people happy which i think is interesting because if i remember correctly i think at the height of this whole debacle he actually rolled himself back like the things i've posted i have now deleted all of them nothing of it is on my channel anymore because those videos were they, they were not it they were simply not it he acknowledged what he did was bad back then but now he's saying what he did was good which doesn't paint a good picture for this guy's consistency right before it was bad but now it's good it's like come on dude are you just saying that now that there's no drama going on now that no one's gonna call you out for it in the part where he talks about the donation you know the one he faked and then promised to do at a later time he reveals a little more about himself than he should have a lot of people 
threatening me to donate all the money if everyone was just threatening me to donate all the money because i was looking back at other youtubers and th they were saying oh my god all this all this money gained from the videos will, will go to charity and i was like okay okay to, to escape out of trouble i have to donate all the money okay okay so he basically admits that he was never gonna donate the money to technoblade out of love or respect for him or even to right his wrong he just wanted to get out of an internet drama that really says a lot about the guy and i figured out that i actually i don't have to donate all of the money that i gained i really don't and a lot of you probably here will be thinking oh my god but you milked someone's death oh my god see you're all negative people you don't think about good you think about bad you think about drama you think about some bad shit you know okay so you're saying all this stuff it's like i said he really insists on this oh you guys are too negative be positive bull you realize that it's not an end all be all to your detractors right you're not actually proving anyone wrong here but even ignoring that you held yourself to a promise all we're doing is holding you to the very promise that you yourself made it has nothing to do with positivity and negativity which is a dumb argument in the first place it has everything to do with you said you do something something now do it so here he finally comes to the reason why he can't donate the money well why do you not have to donate the money that you quote unquote milk from someone's death again the negativity i hate it i hate talking about it well the answer is is really simple it's not only i can't i i physically can't because um, it's September 1st right now that I'm making this video. The school is starting. I have to help my brother out. I have to help my family out with the money. And this money, it, it's really a blessing. Basically, he says that he'd rather use it for his family instead. So it's like, why'd you make the promise to donate the money if you were never planning to cough it up in the first place? It seems like you're falling back to different excuses so you don't have to give up the money. Oh, I'll donate the money when school's about to start. Oh, school's about to start. I have to cough up some money for the school. It's like, come on, dude. And at this point, we've seen that this guy is a dishonest person through and through. Why should I believe he's using the money to help his family when there's an equal, if not greater, chance that it's just going to his pocket? I think the most disgusting thing he does throughout this video is he uses Technoblade as a shield, basically. He says stuff like, oh, Technoblade would be so proud of me for doing what I did. That you should respect them and not make videos about them. Why not? I am literally honoring him, and after his death, he's basically still getting views and i know for a fact he would be so proud to see his name still getting so many views and his name used in positive videos getting so many views i feel like he would be amazed he would be super happy at one point i think it's during the end of the video he says something like technoblade helped me financially even after his death something like that technoblade still after his death helps people he can he helped me out i was as respectful as possible and he helps me out financially because i i really needed that help it's it's all amazing to me and that just made me gag i mean how disgusting of a person do you have to be to hide behind someone's grave to get out of internet drama like what do i say about this other than what we're all thinking it's awful it's depraved like you're a horrible person i'm just gonna come out and say it you are a horrible awful no good person you know i've had it with this guy overall this video was a mess to be honest he doesn't really make any points to defend himself his only form of argument i guess is telling you that you're making his feelings hurt with all this negativity and he'd really appreciate it if you'd be nicer to him more positive that's not an argument brazo it's not a valid form of defense especially against you know milking someone's death they're passing a tragedy you know there's a reason no one ever says this crap during youtube drama dude like come on overall this guy's horrible honestly if he deleted his channel i'd be like ta ta hell if youtube straight up banned the guy i'd be more than content to look the other way i mean what do i need to say exploited someone's death faked a donation to the very dead person he exploited promised to donate the money never followed up on it and on top of all of that he wants you to be more positive about it all to hand this video off i want to give legitimate condolences to technoblade with all the drama going on it can be hard to forget that at the end of the day someone died a father had to bury their son and that just ain't right it just ain't right man so again my condolences i never knew the guy never watched the guy's videos but obviously he touched a lot of people's hearts and made a lot of people happy and that is something special and it's a shame we lost that all i can really say now is rest in peace